Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my Victoria's Secret Bond Street bag. This is the bag that I've been taking with me that I've been going out recently. Um, here in Sydney, we are not on lockdown anymore. It's like, you know, almost back to normal. And so I've been going out a fair bit recently and this is the bag that I've been taking out with me um, at night on the weekends and stuff. And it is the light pink Bond Street bag from Victoria's Secret. It is a pastel baby pink with the Victoria's Secret like gold little logo at the front. It has a really decent heavy chain. This is of course not real leather but the chain is like a very decent weighted gold chain. It's very good quality. You can wear it over the shoulder like this or you can extend the chain to make it a longer chain like this and it has really sturdy um, like um, hooks, handles, I don't know, on the sides of the bag to keep the chain in place. And of course, at the back there is also this slip pocket, which I have nothing in at the moment, but usually my phone or like my Opal card or something goes down the side there. Um, and it's just like a really convenient bag to have. The phone's ringing. I'm going to go get that. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, there's this really convenient slip pocket down the back of this bag. I really like the chevron print and the overall style of the Bond Street bag, which is one of their signature bags, because it kind of reminds me of like Victoria's Secret's take on the Chanel classic flap. Um, but of course, it's not a classic flap. It's just like a really, the classic flap's like a really versatile classic style of bag. And I feel like this is also a really versatile classic style of bag. I feel like the shade of pink is really nice and goes with a lot of things. Anyway, I'm going to go into it. It just opens with a magnetic closure like this. There's actually the plastic still on it, so there we go. We can peel that off together. Um, and yeah, it's just got gold hardware. Sorry, my dog's leaving the room. Bye. Um, and it on the inside has like this striped Victoria's Secret black lining, which just looks like this. Um, and then it has one slip pocket down the side, but I'll show you that better when I've taken everything out of it. So I have a load of stuff that I keep in this bag. Um, including the phone which I'm filming on right now, usually living in the back. Anyway, I'm going to go straight into it. This is my wallet. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. Oh, there's so many things happening. Brandy, I'm trying to film a video. Okay, so the first thing I have to show you is my wallet. This is also from Victoria's Secret and it is like a zippy wallet like this. I have everything in here. I'm not going to show you the inside of my wallet because it's like a mess, but it's got a zippered compartment down the middle. I have like, you know, Panadols. I have my cards on the side. Um, I have more cards on this side, receipts. Um, everything is in my wallet. Love this wallet and it's held up pretty well considering I use it every day and it is a light colour, um, but I find it pretty okay to clean. It is like a kind of like canvasy kind of material, so I guess that prevents scratching and stuff, but it also can mean if there's like dirt in it, like that, um, it can sometimes be a bit more difficult to scrub that out, but generally I feel like it wipes out okay. I'm trying to find any flaws. I know I have like flaws on the bottom. Yeah, so on the bottom here, it's like kind of wearing a little bit, but it's nothing dramatic considering how much I use this wallet. It's doing really well and I also really like the cute little love heart detail because I love heart shaped everything and I think that's really cute. Anyway, the next thing in here um, are my sunglasses. These are the Desi Perkins collaboration she did with um, Key Australia ages ago and I believe these are the rose gold ones. Yeah, I love the Desi collection they did with her. Um, you can kind of see my umbrellas that are my lighting setup, but yeah have my sunglasses in here. These have like a kind of faded lens, if you can kind of see that. Um, they kind of fade from dark to light. And yeah, rose gold versions are really cute. Um, go with heaps of outfits and I, this is just like my favourite pair of sunglasses. Not this particular pair, but like this particular style. I have this style in like gazillion different like colours. Like most of the shades they came out with, um, most of the different colourways of these sunglasses I picked up and I wear them all the time. They're very well loved, but yeah. I keep them in the case because, you know, I want to take care of them and I also fold the little glasses cleaner over the glasses to even further protect them just because I really don't want them to get scratched or anything. I try and protect my sunnies. Um, the next thing I have in here are my headphones and these are some ones that I bought recently. They were just like $5 or something at Officeworks and I thought they were really cute because they're pink. I can like, I don't know, like listen to videos, music, edit videos, blah, blah, blah on the train. And they have really cute like um, cheetah print details on the earbuds. Um, they're all pink and they're not my favourite earphones ever because I actually, my favourite ones are the ones that are the discontinued old style of the Apple ones, like the ones that used to come with the iPhone 4 before they updated the earphones. Um, but I don't hate these and um, I think they're really pretty and cute. They have a cute little like microphone and like volume adjuster on them as well, which works with my phone, which is good. Um, earphones, basic. They're cute and pink. Um, the next thing I have in here is something I forgot to give to my sister last night. I went out with my sister last night and I wanted to give her a new eyeliner because I borrowed hers a lot when we went on a trip recently. And so I bought her a new one to say thanks. Here's a new one. Sorry for using yours so much. 
um, but I forgot to give it to her. So those are, I have a Maybelline Happy Shot Wing Liner for you. It's our favourite eyeliner, we swear by this. So that's for my sister next time I see her. Um, the next thing I have in here is um, this little pink case. This is like a lash case and I usually have a bunch of lashes in here. Right now I only have one pair of lashes. It kind of has three compartments and so usually each compartment has a different pair of lashes. Um, sometimes I'm applying my makeup on the go or like I finish my face but I haven't got lashes on and I apply my lashes on the train so that's why this, this is why this is in the bag and that's why also I have um, lash glue and I also have, I feel like I have a pair of tweezers in here. Oh yeah, here they are. And I also have these manicure tweezers. Everything's covered in hair because I have a hairbrush that I'll show you later. But yeah, the duo clear lash glue, just the one in the blue um, packaging, white with blue font. And then these are my little tweezers. These are just some tweezers from manicure. They're not, they're not the best tweezers ever, but they're not the worst. They're just like some good old tweezers. Um, these have a kind of an angled tip, but nothing particular. They're not my favorite lash tweezers, but they're not bad or anything. Um, as I mentioned, my hairbrush, which is covered in hair, it's kind of gross to show you, but this one's really cute because it like pops in and out. This was a friend. Um, this was from my my kindergarten buddy. When I was in year six, he was my buddy, and his mum gave my sister and I um, these hairbrushes, and I still have it. I've had this since I was literally 12, and it works really well. So, yeah, love this. Take it everywhere all the time. One of my fave hairbrushes. Um, I have some random jewellery in here. I have this random Tiffany bracelet. It's the little beaded bracelet with the enamel blue heart. Don't know why this is in here because I didn't wear this recently, but that was in here. Cool. I also have a pair of earrings that I was wearing last night in here. These are really beautiful. I'm going to pop them right now. These were from my aunt. She actually made these because she's a really talented um, jeweler. Um, not jeweler, like she makes silver jewellery. Jeweler, yeah. Um, and so they look like this. They're just like little geometric earrings with like, um, I don't know how to describe them. They're geometric hanging kind of earrings with a little hook on the top. And so you just like thread them through like this. I wore these out last night um, and yeah, I love them. They're very special because obviously they were made by my aunt. And why were my earring holes? Sometimes do you ever like miss your earring hole and just like stab your ear randomly? That's what I'm doing right now. I don't know what, can I, whatever. They're really cute. Obviously they fit in my ear, I'm just not sticking them in properly right now, but um... Why can't I find my earring hole? They're not hard to stick in. They're just normal earrings. Anyway, they look really cute when hung from the ear. Maybe I need to like check on my ear holes. Sometimes I worry they'll close up. I've had my ears pierced since I was 16 and they've never closed up properly or anything, but um... Sometimes you have to like... Oops! Sometimes I feel like I'm worried that they'll close up or it becomes more difficult to stick earrings in. I wore these yesterday, so it's not like they've closed up in 24 hours. I don't know what my ear holes are doing. Anyway, there's a couple more things left in here. So this is everything that I've shown you so far is from this like big main compartment. Next thing is this little key holder. Um, this is a little Louis Vuitton dupe key holder. Um, just looks like this. Obviously my keys live inside there. Um, really cute and yeah, keys. Um, I also have this liquid lipstick. This is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London 04. Really, really good color probably one of my favorite lipsticks of all time I feel like it kind of this is a weird description but it's like bronzer was a lipstick like you can kind of tell I'm just wearing bronzer right now and like bronzer as eyeshadow and it kind of is like a similar tone I really love the tone of this liquid lipstick um and usually when I go for a liquid lipstick or like any lipstick like a bullet or anything this is the kind of tone I'm looking for like a beigey neutral warm toned lipstick that's not too pinky not too um mauvey just like a warm nude neutral um it's kind of like a bronzer for your lips if that makes sense but yeah love this and the formula of the nyx soft matte lip creams is divine they smell delicious really buildable formula but you can like sheer it out um but i like kind of make it like a medium souffle kind of i don't know just delicious love these if you haven't had a soft matte lip cream which i feel like already everyone has tried one by now um if you haven't go try it because it's really cute and i love it anyway inside the bag it has this little um victoria's secret little logo in there and then inside that it's actually like a little slip pocket on the back of the bag and I have some more things in here so I have this is kind of a COVID thing <laughs> this is a Bath and Body Works a thousand wishes little hand sanitizer it's really cute it's full of glitter and it's pink and girly um yeah a little antibacterial hand gel from pocket back I don't know little hand sanitizer um I also have this um Burt's Bees almond and milk hand cream which just looks like this just a little hand cream because my hands are really dry recently. I'm sorry, that probably is like kind of gross to show you guys, but like my hands are drying out. So yeah, little hand cream, cute. And then I have one more thing in here. Oh, this is um, an EOS lip balm. I think this is in the marshmallow scent. 
Oh, it's really yummy. Yeah, this is the marshmallow scent. It's cute. It's like, oh, I almost like threw it at you. It's in the like light purple pastel packaging and it's got a little um, pink tube. It's really cute. It smells like marshmallows at a campfire cooked it's toasty it's sugary it's sweet if pink sugar was a lip balm this would probably be it it's a really cute girly lip balm and the reason i put it in this bag as well is because like this is like a cute girly bag and that's a cute girly lip balm and this is my cute girly hand sanitizer like this is a cute girly bag so yeah i hope you liked seeing everything that i keep in my going out bag recently this is what i've been taking with me when i've been going out at night and having a fun time with my friends if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below um in the comments box you can leave me any comments say hello um subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me i upload really frequently and hopefully i'll see you in a future video soon i said that really quickly hopefully i'll see you in a future video soon thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one Bye! Also, if you're wondering what I've been wearing, um, it's this Victoria's Secret, like, towel. It's like a little, I don't know, like, Velcro's up. Um, I'm about to go to cheer practice, so I'm about to get dressed and go hit some stunts. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing, if you're wondering. Okay, bye.